Good morning, everybody. Brooke here. We're going to do a 45 minute Pilates routine. Equipment, optional equipment we're going to use today long resistance band and the soft Pilates ball. So we're going to um, do a little bit of upper body. We're going to do a total body workout. We're going to do some standing leg balances. Anyway, you'll enjoy it. Let's start standing up. Paddle with your feet, toes and heels are hip width apart and parallel. Sit up nice and tall, just draw the abdominals in, just lift the glutes a little bit up the backs of your legs as well. Breathe in, reach your arms overhead, and then breathe out, come up onto your toes. Just finding your balance, narrowing the waist. Let's add a twist. So turn your shoulders to the right corner of the room, so they grow a little taller as we turn the shoulders. Keep the hips facing forward. Breathe in, come back to the center. And now we're going to twist to the left corner of the room. Again, keeping the hips facing forward. Hips stay facing forward, growing taller, staying high on your toes. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist the other way. Shoulders to the left, hips to the front. And then breathe in, come back to the front, lower your heels, and hands come back down to your sides. Now drop up and in as you roll down over your legs. Just folding forward, nod your head, and then shake the head side to side. Good, and bend your knees. Get your hands all the way down to the mat and start walking your hands forward. Breathing out as you come forward into a nice high plank. So your shoulders are in line with your hips, hands directly beneath the shoulders. We're gonna step your right hand forward, step your left hand forward, then take the right hand back, left hand back. Step right hand forward, left hand forward, and back and back. Just walk those hands towards the end of your mat, then back under your shoulders. One more time, leading with the right, and then back. Under the hands. Now lead with your left, left hand forward, right hand forward, left hand back, right hand back. Don't let the hips pike up towards the ceiling or sag down towards your mat. Stay there for three. Forward, forward, back, and back. Keep the core tight. Last two. And back. One more. Forward, forward, back, and hold. Then lift your hips all the way up. Press down into your heels. Take a deep breath in. And then breathe out, walk your hands back towards your feet with your legs straight. Good. And we can bend the knees, chin to chest, round the spine, and roll yourself all the way up to standing. Shoulders and head come up last. Now turn your arms so your palms are facing out to the side, and reach your arms up in front of you, pulling the backs of your hands in towards each other. Take a big breath in as the arms go over, and then really open everything out for the hands coming back down to your sides. Now, again, we flip the palms out. This time, we're reaching the arms behind. Leave with your thumbs. Again, pulling the backs of your hands together. Lengthen through the fingertips as the arms reach out to your front. And then take the palms back into the sides of the legs. Drop your chin down to your chest. Gather the belly button up and away. And slowly roll down over your legs. Just hanging there for a moment. Let your head hang to completely relax your neck. And now you're going to bend your right knee. Press into your heel of your left foot and really lengthen that hamstring right up to the top of that sit bone. Now change legs, bend your left knee, press into your right heel and really lengthen the back of that leg from the heel right up to that sit bone. One more time each way, right knee bends, press into your left heel, try to lift that sit bone a little higher up towards the ceiling. And then switch, so it's a bit more of an active stretch, really pressing the heel down, lifting the sit bone up. And then I want you to bend both knees, hands come to the mat, step your hands forward, walking out into your plank. Once we're there, we make sure the head's in line with the shoulders, hips in line as well. And then step your right knee forward, just hover it up off the mat, step your left knee forward. Step your right foot back, and then your left foot back. Right knee forward, left knee forward, right foot back, left foot back. So it's a big step forward so the knee is under the hip. And then step it back. Now we're going to lean with your left knee with the next one. Left knee forward, follow with the right. Step back and back. Keep the shoulders over the hands. Keep the belly button pulled in tight. Stepping the knees forward. Sweeping the back. Last two. Forward, forward, back, back, and one. Forward, forward, back, back. And lift the hips all the way up. Press into your heels. Big inhale. And then exhale. Walk your hands back towards your feet. Soften the knees, round the spine, roll yourself all the way up. Good, shoulders and head come up last. Breathe in, lift your arms. Breathe out, reach your fingertips, float your heels up off the mat, scoop the butt down, lift the glutes, and then reach your arms down to your sides, heels down to the mat, chin to chest. Last plank variation, rolling all the way down. Hang for a moment, just sway side to side this time. 
time. Just turning the shoulders left and right. Let the hips swing in opposition. Last two. And one. Hands come back to the center. Bend the knees. Hands to the mat. And walk forward. Last plank. Breathing out as you come forward into your plank. Lift the head, slide the shoulders away from the ears, and then turn the knee out to your side, up towards that shoulder. Breathe in back, change sides, alternate sides. We're going to go for eight, seven, really open the hips out, knee to shoulder, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come back to your plank, point the left toe, lift it up and down for four, three, two, one, tuck the toes, switch the legs, right leg up for four, three, two, one. Tuck the toes, drop your knees, and stretch back onto your heels. Stretching your arms, stretching your back, resting your head. And let go. Good. Flip yourself over onto your back. And we're going to stretch the legs out in front of you. Start with our roll down. So we start with that hamstring stretch, wrapping around hands around the backs of your ankles. Nice rounded spine, chin dropping into your chest to feel a stretch through your back. And then breathe in, realign your spine, float your hands up, breathe out, round the spine, scoop your down slowly, control all the way down to the mat one vertebra at a time. Breathe in, reach the arms behind you, and then breathe out. Lift the hands, lift the head, peel your spine up. And reach forward. Breathe in again, straighten up the back, straighten out the top of the head, breathe out, rounded spine, pointed toes, squeeze the legs together, breathe in, reach the arms behind you. Now, adding a variation now, I'm gonna roll up as we did before, stretch forward, but this time we're gonna come just halfway back and hold here. Now really point the toes, squeeze the legs together, see so you can drop your chest one inch lower. Then take your right hand across your hips and really press that pinky into that hip to turn the shoulders quite far. Breathe in, left hand across the right hip, and then press into that hip to twist the shoulders. Maybe you can do a little double pulse. Pulse, pulse. Breathe in, hand against the hip. Pulse, pulse, just to go a little deeper into that twist. Try to keep the lower body still. Keep your feet from moving. Inhale, change. And twist, twist, inhale back, hand across the waist, twist, twist, and then take both hands in front. Go down an inch, hold, down another inch, hold, and then come all the way down with a big breath in. Breathe out, hands, head, spine, peel up off the mat, reach forward. Breathe in, straighten up the back. Breathe out, we're gonna come halfway back, and this time we're gonna lift the right leg. I want you to grab that ankle, get the leg a little straight. Inhale, lower it down. Lift the left leg up. Inhale, lower. Again, trying to wrap around the back, of the back of the ankle, each leg touch. Or if you need to, it can be the knee. A little lower, that's fine too. Stay there for four, three, two, one. And now both feet come down. I want you to drop the chest a little lower and see lift both legs up. Breathing out. I don't want this to go into your lower back. It's starting to go into your back. Just alternate the legs. Go back to what we were doing before with single legs. But if you can, do two more. Lift and lower. Last one. Lift and lower. Drop the legs. Drop the chest slowly, slowly down to the mat. Breathe in. Stretch through the fingertips. And then breathe out. Lift the hands. Lift the head. Peel your spine up. And this time, imagine you're kind of swooping, picking something up and lifting and lengthening through the spine and then rounding the spine as you roll all the way back down to the mat. Dig deep breath in. Exhale. Round the spine as you roll up. And then extend the back, sweeping the hands along the sides, like lifting up to the ceiling and then breathing out to roll it back down again. Breathe in. Breathe out, lift the hands, lift the head, sweep the hands along the side of the leg, so you're picking something up, lifting it up over your head, and we come to that rounded spine all the way down to the mat, and we're gonna hold here. Good. Now just pull your knees into your chest, really sink your shoulders down to open up your collarbone a little bit, and then hold your right knee in as you stretch your left leg long. Now I want you to really lengthen through that toe. Lift your head, lift your shoulders, draw your belly button in, and then switch the legs. So it's a strong exhale with each knee pull. Again, stretching the straight leg, so lengthening the muscles of your legs while you strengthen the muscles of the core. Stay here for four, three, two, and one. Then pull both knees in, take your hands behind the head, add a torso twist, elbow reaching to the opposite knee. Stay here for eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now the next one, I want you to cross your right hand across your body, press the back of that arm into the knee, inhale, hands behind the head, exhale, left hand across the body, inhale back, so we're reaching the right hand to the left corner of the room, and pressing the back of the arm into the knee, again, just to deepen that twist, so getting a little bit more into the obliques. So the more you twist the shoulders, the more we're going to be working the obliques, the sides of the waist, rather than the core muscles. I mean, the core is still working, but one force the sides of the waist to work as well. Stay there for six. We reach the fit through the fingers, reach the toes on the straight arm and leg. Last three, two, and one. Great. Take the shoulders back, hug your knees in, take a deep breath. And then lift your toes up to the ceiling. Straighten up the legs. I want you to pick up your ball. You're going to reach the ball up to your feet. Breathing out. Draw the belly button. And inhale, lower the head, lower the shoulders. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. So trying to keep the legs straight. And really get that ball up to the tops of the feet. Stay there for four. Now, if your hamstrings are a little tighter, your feet are going to be a little further away, you might not be able to hit the feet. But just try to get the legs as straight as you can. Again, we're lengthening the muscles of the legs as we strengthen the muscles of the core. Last two. And one. I just let that head come down. Turn the head a quick side to side just to stretch your neck before we do the next set. And the next one, we're going to pass the ball through the legs as we scissor the legs. So you lift your head and shoulders, press your lower back down, open the legs up, pass the ball through the legs, and then switch. So that ball is doing a little figure of eight around those legs. Never touching the legs. Stay there for eight. Seven, six, so keep it slow. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now use that ball, hug your knees into your chest, let your head rest down to the mat, take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, we're gonna lift the head, lift the shoulders, chin to chest, and then reach your arms and legs out through double leg stretch. Breathe in, tap the ball to the tops of your shins, breathe out, stretch everything long. Inhale, tuck, exhale, reach, and tuck. And reach, belly button hold in tight, stay here for four. Stretch the fingers, stretch the toes, squeeze the ball, three. Chin to chest, take the weight of the head forward, two. Lift at the neck is starting so you can drop that head down to the mat. And one, and then hug your knees in. A little bit of movement side to side. Yeah. Take your feet down to the mat, lift your hips up, place the ball under the pelvis. We're gonna balance on the ball. So the ball, isn't under the curve of your lower back. It's right between your hip bones and your tailbone. Make sure it's also not out too far, kind of sticking out from that tailbone. So lift your right knee up, lift your left knee up, take your hands, rest them across your dumbs, and just almost push the sides of your waist together, like really stitching together that line that separates the dumbs, drawing the belly button, and squeezing the sit bones together, lifting the pelvic floor and the perineum. And we're gonna tap your right toe down to the mat, keep your elbows resting on the sides, Lift the right leg up. Inhale, lower your left toe down to the mat. Exhale, lift it back up. Make sure those knees don't come in any further than your hips. Maybe even let's actually take the hands and press into the knees. Inhale, lower. Exhale. So that will just get a little bit more abdominal, deep abdominal working. And also make sure that those knees don't creep in towards your chest. So you put a little bit of gentle pressure on that knee as it comes in towards the body. And just kind of let the hand hang until that knee drop, as the knee drops down. And back. Stay there for four. Keep the rib cage down. Just check your lowest back rib is still sinking down to the mat. Last two. And lift. One. And lift. Next. Press into both knees. Pull those knees back. So isometric exercise here. Drawing the core muscles in. Stay there for four. Three. Two. And one. Now lift your fingertips up to the ceiling. Take a big breath in. Reach your right arm and your left leg long. And then exhale, hands and knee come back to the starting point. Left arm and right leg. So stretch that toe to the wall in front of you. Touch your thumb to the floor behind you. Palms facing in towards each other. Rib cage sinking down to the mat. Stay here for four. And let's try to make sure only one hand, one arm is moving. The other arm stays directly over the shoulder. So we're not scissoring both arms. Last two. And one. Come back to our starting position. Now we're gonna drop your right arm out to the side and your left knee to the other side. So opening the arm and the knee out like the pages of a book. Breathe out, come back to your center line, left arm, right knee. 
Try to keep your left knee over the hip as that right knee drops out to the side. Same with the arm over the shoulder. And back. Now, if you want to advance this, extend your legs and do long legs as you sweep out and back. But keep an eye on the hand and the foot that should be pointing up to the ceiling, that they're not kind of moving around as you move the other arm and leg. Let's aim for four more. Breathing in as you lower. Breathe out as you lift. And three. Stretching, always lengthening through the fingertips, lengthening through the limbs. Last one, down and up. Now just trying to pull your knees into your chest, wrap your hands around your knees, and then extend your legs out. Try to stay still on your ball as you hold the backs of your legs. And really press your tailbone down into your ball as you stretch a little bit further. Just take a deep breath in, completely relax your shoulders. Again, press that tailbone down into the ball, and then bend your knees and get your feet down to the mat. Let's lift up off the ball. Take the ball away, and we're gonna actually place it right between your knees. I'm sorry, I should say take it away. Just move it from the hips to your knees. Pick up your long band. Now, if it's a light band, I want you to double it. If it's a heavier band, single will be fine. And we're gonna lay it across your hip bones. So quite low across your abdominals. Breathe out, press your lower back down into the mat. Peel your spine up, squeeze your ball, squeeze the glutes, narrow the waist. Inhale, lower the hips down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. So we're working the inner thighs, we're working the glutes, but I also want you to think about that waist and really narrow the waist. Think about your transverse abdominals, just squeezing you in as you lift the hips up. So just strengthening that wrapping muscle around your middle. Stay there for four and three. Last two. Hold the last one up. Little squeezes at the top. Pulse and hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's go one more set. Again, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Two, hold the hips high, now reach the band up to the ceiling. Stretch both arms out to the side, take the band down to your chest, keep your hips high, keep squeezing the ball, inhale, lift back up. Stretch and lift for six, five, and four. Don't forget the other muscles, still with the inner thighs working, still with the glutes, work on the shoulders though. Last two, and lift. One, lift the arms back to the ceiling and then reach them all the way behind you until the back is touch the floor. Lift the hips even higher, squeeze the ball tighter, and then slowly drop the top of the spine down to the mat, rolling through the ribs, through your middle back, one vertebra at a time until we're all the way down, that tailbone down, and then the hands come back to the sides. Now take the ball away and take your band, double, just turn it into a single band, and wrap it around your right foot. Try to get your elbows down to the mat and really straighten out that right leg. Again, pressing from the heel down to that sit bone. So really lengthening the hamstring and then press into your left heel to get the hips up and down. Lift and lower. Sit there for six. Five, so really squeezing, working to your left glute. Four, keep the shoulders relaxed. Three, two, hold the last one up. Now breathe out, lower the right leg down. Inhale, lift it back up. Exhale, try to get it close to the floor. Keep your left leg working. Keep the left, your hips high, so pressing into that left heel. Right leg moving for four, three. Again, stretch the leg straight. Last two, and lift. One, lift and hold. Then lower your hips down. Now, before we change sides, we're gonna open your arms out a little wide and lift your head, lift your shoulders. Tuck your left knee through your band and then stretch your left leg out, hold. Tuck your left foot back through, extend the legs out, and again, hold. Bend, stretch and hold. Bend, extend and hold. Shoulders high up off the mat, belly button pulled in tight. Give you that hold each time. So we're not just rushing through the movements. Stay there for four, three, two, and one, and then let the head come down, sweep your left foot into your band, right foot down along the mat, shoulders relaxed, core tight, breathe out, lift the hips up, breathe in, lower them back down. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Make sure your right knee stays in line with your hip, doesn't roll out towards the edge of the mat. So get that inner thigh working a little bit on that right leg. Sit there for six, 
Left leg stays long and straight. That's four, three, two. Hold the last one up. Zip the core tight to protect the lower back. Lower that left leg down towards the mat. Inhale, lift it back up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Stay there for four. Lengthen through the heel. Add up. Press into the right heel. Strengthen the right leg. Last two. And lift. One. Lift and hold. Now we open the arms wide. Drop the hips down. Lift your head. Lift your shoulders. Pull your right knee through your band. Stretch the right leg out. Tuck the right foot through. Extend the leg out. Knee to chest. Toe to ceiling. Knee to chest. Leg along the floor. Stay there for four. Three. Two. One. Now let the head come down. And I want you to press, place both feet into your band. And then cross your band. Switch hands on the band. So we've got a little X in front of our feet. Lengthen the band through your fingertips. And then stretch your legs as you lower them down towards the floor. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Three more here. Breathing out. And in. Last two. And lift. And one. Now with the next one, we're going to lower the legs and lift your chest and sweep your legs down and lift your spine straight up. Now fold forward with your arms reaching behind you. Just kind of pulse down towards your legs. Now sit up nice and straight. Hold your band quite a bit closer to your feet and straighten out your back. Now slide your elbows along the sides of your rib cage. Pull the shoulder blades together and reach to the top of the head and then slide the arms forward. Just kind of grazing the sides of your rib cage, pulling your elbows together behind your back as so you sit as tall as you can. Stay there for six and five, four, three, two, and one. Now reach the arms forward. Now we fold forward, slide a little bit more length along your bands. It just gives a little more like Elbows go above and behind the line. You just find so your upper arms are parallel to the foot, and then extend the arms, and then extend, and then stay there for six. Flex your feet, pull your toes in, shoulders away from the ears, backs of the knees down. Last three, two, and one. Get up, sit up nice and tall. Take your band away. Let's take your feet in, knees out, and just fold forward over your legs. Round the spine, use your elbows to gently ease the knees out to your sides, stretching out your hips. And then sit up nice and tall, the straight back, and then pull your knees together and flip over to all fours. Now feel free to grab a quick sip of water and positions. So we're gonna need the ball for the next one. Place the ball under your left knee. Now we need to tuck the toes under to hold that ball still so we can take the right leg back. Hands are directly beneath your shoulders, belly buttons lifting up into your spine. We're going to point the toe on your right foot and lift, lengthen through that toe as you lift the leg up and down. Lift and lower. Stay here for six, five, four slow movements, no movement through the spine, three, long straight leg, two, and one, take the foot back down to the mat. Again, lift the belly button up and away, tap the foot out and in. Tap up and over, up and back. Stay here for six and five. And stabilize that left knee on the ball. Four, three, two, last one. Foot comes back to the center line of the mat and then bend your knee. Point the toe up to the ceiling. Pulse it up, pulse the lift for eight. Seven, six, five, four, really press the mat away. Two, and one, one more set, little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Breathe in, lower the knee all the way down to the mat, sliding along the side of that ball, lift all the way back up. Inhale, lower the knee, kind of sweep the side of the ball, and lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift for three, and lift, two, lift, last one, lift and hold. Then we turn the knee out, turn the toes in, circle the knee up and around for six, five, four, three, 
two, hold, hold the last one, reverse at six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let the right knee come down, push your ball out from under your left knee, and sit back onto your heels, stretching your arms out, stretching out your back. And then sit up onto your heels, just kind of shake out any tension through the wrists or your shoulders, just circling things around, and then get ready for the other side. So we're gonna place the ball under your right knee, and tuck your toes under, that knee should stay right under the hip, hands under the shoulders, belly button lifting up and away, send your left leg out, point that toe, stretch the leg as you lift and lower, up and down, shoulders away from the ears, nice long neck, slightly pulling your hands apart, good, stay there for five, four, three, two, and one, and then tap out and in for eight, Seven, feel the core muscles tighten a little bit more. I have, have to work a little hard to stabilize the spine, the obliques, the sides of the waist should be working. Now engage that a little bit more. That's three, two, and one. Foot comes back to the center point of your mat. Then we bend the knee, point the toe up to the ceiling. Keep the knee in line with your hips, so not any lower. Try to tuck it in a little closer to your midline and pulse up from there. Then for eight, seven, six, Five, try to look off the end of the mat, so don't let the head hang. One more set of eight pulses. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Breathe in, lower the knee all the way down. Sweep the side of that ball, lift it back. Inhale, lower, sweep the ball, and lift back. Breathe in, and out. For four, and lift, and three. Last two. One more, we hold that toe high, pull the ribs up in the body, press them out, we turn the knee out, turn the toes in, and circle the knee up and around for six, five, really try to open wide, three, two, one, reverse it, six, five, four, three, two, and one, slowly lower that knee back down to the mat, Remove the ball from the right knee, toes together, open your knees out, and sit back onto your heels. Let the ribs slot down between your knees. So really lengthen through your fingers. So try to inch your arms a little further along, and then really sit back into your heels. So you're really stretching and lengthening the arms and your shoulders. And breathe. Now drag your hands back as you sit back onto your heels, rounding your spine, drop your chin into your chest. And so we're sitting all the way up onto our heels. Then place the hands behind you. Listen to your body. Don't force it if you have any knee issues. Press into the tops of the feet and lift the hips up as you look to the wall behind. Breathe in, lower the hips down, soften the elbows. And then breathe out, breathe out again. Extend the arms, lift the hips high, press into the tops of your feet. And then inhale, lower back down. Again, maybe bending a little deeper into the elbows. And then pull your knees together. Reach the hands behind your back, and then reverse it, reach the hands in front, and round your spine. We then lift the arms up to the ceiling, a little lean to the left, lean over to the right, and then open the arms out, and then just take them down to your sides. Now we're gonna come up to standing, and we're gonna grab your band once again. Good, so holding, give yourself quite a bit of length to work with, so hold, quite close to the end of your band. And we're gonna start with our left foot in the middle of your band. Point your right toe and take your weight forward, hinge your chest forward and reach your arms out towards the corners of the room. We're gonna lift the leg as we lift the arms, balancing, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Now if you wanna modify this, if this feels too strong, just keep that right foot on the mat and do it like we normally do with both feet on the ground. But if you want to advance it, let's do five more here. Five, four, three, two. So we're working that left leg quite hard. Hold the last one. Hold your balance for four, three, two, and one. Then lift the chest. Let's step your right foot into the band. Make sure you got equal legs out either side. Soften your right knee. Hinge your chest forward. Sweep your left back. Find the balance. Arms out to the corners of the room. And then lift the arms. Lift the leg. Stay there for eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, last one. We're just gonna hold for four, three, two, and one. And lower the left foot down. Let's switch the feet again. So your left foot is in the band. Step your right foot back and then change your grip on the band so that your arms reach, face the back of your room and then wrap the hands around towards the sides of your hips. Pull your shoulder blades together. Reach from the top of the head right through the tip of that right toe and then lift the arms, lift the leg. Inhale, lower. Feel free to shorten your band a little with this one. Stay here for eight, seven, six. Find a focal point to help with the balance. Last four. Three, two, and we're gonna hold the last one. Now to lift your elbows up, extend the arms, and then bend. So tricep extensions, extend and bend. On one leg for five, four, oh, lost my balance. It's okay if you lose your balance, don't worry about it. Last two, and one. Drop the right foot, I'll be better on the other side. So right foot into your band, left leg back, soften the standing leg. Lengthen from the crown of the head, through the hips, through the knee and that toe. Arms by your sides to lift the left leg as you lift the arms and lower. Lift and lower. Sit there for six, five, four, three, two. Last one we hold. Now we bend and extend in and out. Now feel free to drop that toe down to the mat so we've got less kind of worrying about balance. But if you can, lift the leg up, stay there for four, three, two, and one. And lower your left foot down. Let's actually drop the band for a moment. And we're gonna reach your right arm up to the ceiling. Just really lengthen through that right side. Try to rotate the arm up, like you're almost kind of screwing in a light bulb. And then bend your elbow. Take your left hand and pull the elbow in and then try to sweep your fingertips together so you've got a little bind behind your back. Now from here, we try to come up onto our toes and really engage the core muscles just to really align your head, shoulders, ribs, and hips. And inhale, lower the heels down, release the hands, lift your left arm up out of that little twist, that little screw lifting and lengthening. Bend the elbow, pull the elbow in, lift your chin up, fingertips together behind your back, little wriggle, so you're gonna get that bind, ribs to hips, load up into your balance, Try to hold your balance, lengthening through the crown of the head. And then inhale, lower your heels, release your hands, just shake your shoulders out. Okay, we're gonna come straight back down to the mat. I want you to grab your band. Lay the band over the top of your knees, cross under and hold on top. So we've got a double wrap, but not too tight. It shouldn't be like a tourniquet. When you take your knees about hip width apart, there should be some, some tension, but we're not saying like the knees really cut in or that band cut into the sides of your knees. Flip onto your side. So you're in like a straight back chair, tipped onto its side. So your knees are one on top of the other, your hips are one on top of the other, your back is nice and straight. And then we're gonna lift your feet up off the mat, point the toes, scoop the core in, and then open your knees out and down. Lift and lower, stay there for 10, nine, keep your shoulders relaxed, keep your neck nice, nice and long, keep really stretching to the band, last four, three, two, and one. Take the knees back together, drop the feet down, now lift the knee and the foot, make sure that lower le leg is parallel to the foot, the foot doesn't go any higher than the knee, the more the knee any higher than the foot. Make sure you're not rocking back while not using momentum. Your knees should come right back together each time you drop the knee and the foot down towards that lower leg. Stay there for four, three, two, hold the last one. Now circle the knee and the foot up and around for six, five, four, three, two, one. Reverse it, six the other way, five, four, three, two, and one, feet together, knees together, just straighten up the back, again, shoulders away from the ears, gather the belly button in, and just press through the feet, lift that knee up. So press the feet together as the, as the knee goes up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
and one. Now take the band away. Stretch your body out, so extend the arm, extend your legs. Pull your shoulders back, zip the belly button in tight, lift both legs up off the mat. And we're gonna lift your top leg a little higher, then just small circles with your top leg. Now first we start with the hand, just resting on the lower abdominals, making sure we've got the rib to hip connection, belly button's pulled in tight, lower leg hovering up off the mat. And lift that hand, lengthen through the fingertips as you reach your arms up to the ceiling. Last two, and wanna squeeze the glutes a little bit, just try to tilt the pelvis so the tailbone reaches closer towards your heels. Reverse your circles, stay there for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now lift that top leg a little higher. I'm gonna zip the lower leg to the top foot and then to the floor. Lift and lower. Try to lengthen through that lower leg as you lift and lower. Again, lengthening the muscles as we strengthen. Stay there for four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna lift the head, lift the legs. Lower the head, lower the feet. And to lift, inhale lower. Stay here for three. And two, last one, we hold for four, three, two, one, then just drop the head down and scissor both legs to the edges of your mat. No movement through the pelvis, no movement through the ribs or your lower back. Stay there for six, straight legs, five, four, three, two, one. Legs together, drop the feet down, take the top knee forward, hand from the head, holds the knee, the other arm twists over your shoulder, back of the hand, getting as close to the floor as you can, and then just sweep the arm over your head, past your leg, and back, and then reverse it, sweep the left arm past the leg, up over your head, and back. Pull your knees together, pick up your band, switch sides. So we start with the band. Laying over the top of your knees, cross it under, hold it on top, shift onto your side. Again, into that straight back chair or that tabletop position. So your hips are bent 90 degrees, your knees are bent 90 degrees, your knees are stacked, your hips are stacked. We're not leaning at all to the back wall. And then lift your toes up, point your toes, shoulders away from your exhale, lift the knee and lower. Lift and lower. Let's go for 10. Nine, eight, make each one have to stretch that band. Six, five, four, three, two, hold the last one, then lower the knees, drop the foot, lift the knee and the foot, but make sure that your lower legs stay parallel. Stay there for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, Five, again, make sure the knees come right back together each time that that top knee isn't slightly behind the lower knee. Last two, hold the last one, so you can go a little higher, check your shoulders are down, circle the knee and the foot for six. Five, four, three, two, one, and reverse the movement, six, five, four, three, two, and one, feet together, knees together. So you should have felt those in the outside of that hip. We've got one last set. This time you keep the feet together, just press the knee up to the ceiling for eight, seven. Keep your spine long, keep the shoulders down away from the ears. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Now drop the knees, take the band away. And stretch your legs out, stretch your arm out, roll your shoulder back, take your hand to your lower abdominals, ribs towards your hips, belly button pulled in, lift both feet up off the mat, lift your top leg a little higher, and then circle the top leg. Keep the belly button in, and float this hand up to the ceiling. Do it for six, five, four, keep your neck long. Every now and then just lift your head and stretch your neck out. Last one, reverse your circles, eight the other way, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now lift that top leg a little higher. We're gonna zip the lower leg up to the top leg and down. Lift and lower. So squeezing the inner thighs, lengthening that lower leg, reaching through the toe. Stay there for five, four, three, 
two, last one, we're gonna hold, and I'm gonna lift your head, lengthen through the fingertips, as the hand comes down to the sides of the legs, lower your head, lower your feet, exhale, lift, and lower, press into that hand that's on the mat, the shoulders a little higher, find a little gap under your armpit as you press into that hand, stay there for four, and three, last two, and one, now let the upper body come down, zip the belly button and squeeze the glutes a little bit and scissor your legs, straight legs, eight, send to the edges of the mat, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take the legs back together, drop the feet down, slide your top knee forward, hold the hand from the head to the knee and reach the other arm out behind you. Try to look over your shoulder, just notice if there's a difference from this side to the other side, if that, that hand doesn't come down quite as low. And just try to work with that. Just reaching the arm all the way around the body. Trying to get as much symmetry in the body as you can. So trying to make everything nice and even. And reverse the circles. Let's do two the other way. Round to back. And last one. Good. Okay, I'm gonna flip over onto your front and I want you to grab your long band one more time and we're gonna fold it in two. And have your hands to the corners of your mat. Point your toes, draw your belly button up away from the mat, keep the feet down. And we're gonna, first we're gonna just lift the hands. So we're kind of shoulder mobility. Lift the arms and lower. Lift and lower. Last two. And one. Now with the next one, we're gonna lift the chest, lift the arms, lengthen through the limbs as you lift and lower. For three, two, hold the last one up and stretch again. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now lower the chest down. Now you just hold the band single. So if it's folded in two, just do single. And I want you to reach your arms out to the side. So have the band behind your back. I'm going to lift the chest, lift the band. So let those bands kind of pull your shoulder blades together as you lift the arms. Your arms are out to a T, then pulling the shoulder blades together. Using that band to help you lift the arms. A really good posture exercise here, strengthening the upper back, strengthening the lower back, getting that full mobility, pulling those shoulders back. Keeping the neck nice and long, looking down to the mat. Last two and one. Good, now drop your band and take your hands back along your sides. Back to the hands, touch the floor, palms of the hands pointing up to the ceiling. We got lift the chest, lift the legs, rotate the pinkies up to the ceiling, pull your shoulder blades together. Inhale, lower the arms, lower the legs. Exhale, lift, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the upper back. Inhale, lower. Try to lengthen from the crown of the head to the tips of the toes as you lift and lower. Last two, lift. Rotate the arms and one. Lift all the way up. Take it all the way down. Take your hands under your shoulders. Sit back onto your heels, toes together, knees apart. And stretch out your back. Good, then come up to all fours. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. We're gonna extend your right arm and left leg. So I want the hand to stay in line with your shoulder, the foot in line with your hip, and then reach the arm and like out to the side, and then come back to that center line. Four more, breathing out as you reach, breathe in as you return, breathing out, and in. Last two, and one. Come back to the midline and breathe out around the spine. Pull your elbow, pull your knee and chin to chest in. Just stretch everything back up. Just two more like that. Breathing out and in. Last one. Breathing out. Tap, scoop. Inhale, reach. And then hand to knee. Come back down to the mat. We'll go straight to the other side. Left arm, right leg. Reach out to the corners or beyond and back. Lengthen through the fingers, through the toes. Keep the foot in line with the hip. Hand in line with the shoulder. Stay there for three. And two. Out. And back. Last one. Come back to that midline and breathe out. Drop the chin. Pull the knee and pull the elbow. And inhale, stretch everything out. Exhale, tap. Inhale, reach. Two more. Breathing out. And in. Last one. Tap. 
and reach. And then the hands and knee come down to the mat. We're going to tuck your toes, lift your knees up, and press into your heels. Just stretch the backs of the legs. Now bend your left knee and press your right heel down. So again, reach from the heel right through that sit bone, and then change the legs. Left heel down, right knee is bent. Change again, right heel down, right leg straight. And switch. And then prop both heels down. Walk your hands back towards your feet. Let your head hang. Hold the backs of your legs. Just nod your head. Shake the head side to side. Just sway your arms left and right. Come back to the center. Soften the knees. Scoop the abdominals in and slowly roll yourself back up to standing. Articulating every joint. Shoulders and head come up last. Big breath in, reach the arms up overhead. Breathe out, float up onto your toes, narrow the waist, squeeze the glutes, reach to the fingertips, and then reach your arms out to the side as you lower your heels down to the mat. Just swing everything out. Good. And give yourself a little round of applause. Well done, everybody. So we're back this afternoon with a short advanced session. No, no sessions, live sessions tomorrow. You can find one from the archive, and we're back again on Thursday morning and Thursday afternoon. See you soon. Bye.